Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Today my topic is about the four curriculum orientations and their components. Comparison, sorry. So the four curriculum orientations are technology, cognitive processes, humanism, and social reconstruction orientations. Do you know their exponents and the characteristics of each exponent? So the, in order to plan the curriculum, uh, to plan the uh, uh, curriculum for the project, we need to know who who are the people who are involved in um, the different orientations. So here I will list some of them and if you're interested in them, in those uh, exponents, you can google them and know more detail about them, individual of them, okay? Now for uh, as uh, the research by Brightport in 1982 say, in technology orientation, the exponents are Skinner, Silverman, Green, Oz, and Sullivan. So you can google them and if you want to know detail about them, uh, and you can research them okay through Google all right the tip characteristics are to emphasis upon external variables to discuss what kinds of environmental variables affect behavior and in what ways so number two is the use of small highly sequential tasks and immediate reinforcement so in quantity process assessing orientation the exponents are Tava, Bruno, Osbel, Sussman, Piaget, which we all know very well, and Hurst and Swip. So the chief characteristic of the uh, cognitive processes orientation is number one, to help students to acquire an aspect on data, and number two, to teach specific thinking processes, example, including concepts and problem analysis and problem solving. So in next one, in human orientation, the exponents are Roger, Schuch, Bowen, Krasi, uh, Phoenix and Kelly. Again, for each individual of them, you can Google them and know more detail about them if you are interested. So their characteristics are to one, to maximize students' capacity to develop himself, and number two, it, non, it is a non-directive, uh, facilitating role of teachers to nurture personal creativity. Okay, in the social reconstruction orientation, next ex exponents are Oliver, Talam. Sheptel, Apple, um, Metcalf, Man, and Shane. So if you want to know them, you can Google them as, uh, uh, as well as I said before. And the chief characteristic of the social reconstruction orientation uh, are to emphasis upon social relations as a goal or uh, an uh, educational means. Uh, the social uh, reconstruction um, orientation has two subcategories. One, ideal social concepts, which is including radical social reformers, and two, the development of interpersonal relations. So why should we know the exponents and their chief characteristics? It's because to plan the curriculum, you need to be sure which orientation you are about to start for your project. For example, number one, technology um, curriculum orientation. Technology curriculum <coughs> objectives and assessment uh, job analysis as a trial. The technology curriculum responsible to powerful external interests. So students as imitators versus trainer trains within a classroom situation to enable repetitions of skills specified. All right. Number two, we uh, we'll talk about the cognitive processes orientation. So where learning uh, exposes to current knowledge by the changing needs of external interests. Uh, the students involving their cognitive skills, concepts, and principles, and may focus on the problem-centered variety of information and models of presentation. Number three is the humanist uh, orientations. Okay, uh, humanist orientation focuses on student-teachers interactions, needs, and concerns. So students' confidences and support comes with con recognition from the local community as tools to enhance self-growth and self-actualization. So assessment used as uh, something to do with the personal meaning of studies for an extended profiles might be good example. So Bradford suggests a professional case study and orientation approaches. Finally, the social reconstruction orientation. So what is social orientation uh, reconstruction? Um, reconstruction orientation. Here, uh, the research by Bradford, he suggests that using the civic competence, um, competence in um, various real situations, like, um, uh, especially like uh, political as, as, as assessments, our students are social agents 
Critic and activist, course evaluation approaches could best be using participatory example, responsive quasi legal or action research models. Its key focuses are social issues. Okay? Therefore, the role of teachers should be a facilitator of action, has deep knowledge of the society and its ideals, ideals uh, in schools and community setting. The support curriculum orientations and models derived from them and involves context evaluation, resources evaluation, evaluation of implementation events and evaluation of outcomes to serve goals, design, management and recycling decisions respectively. Okay, okay this concludes my today's topic on the four curriculum orientation and their comparisons and my next topic will be the experiential learning approaches. Stay tuned, thank you for listening and goodbye.